What are you currently reading? I'm reading Rudyard Kipling's uh, short stories. I'm rereading The Great Gatsby. Uh, I'm reading Michael Chabon's new book. Um, I read uh, Peter Rabbit yesterday, just for the hell of it, because I hadn't read it in a long time. What's the one book that you wish that you had written? I would love to have written The Great Gatsby. I think it's just perfect and beautiful. Um, wow. Where the Wild Things Are. Would have liked to, have, that definitely was a, a life changer for me and is an example of simplicity and perfection. I mean, Wild Things? I mean, come on. It, it, got, it was banned a lot when I was a kid. I was very, very lucky to get to see it when it first came out in 1963. A lot of uh, libraries banned it, a lot of cities banned it. And in my little backwater town in Louisiana, there was a brave librarian who ordered it, and I got to see it, and it changed my life. But everybody felt like it was too scary for kids. It's just like, are you kidding? Kids love scary stuff. Was that stuff. the reason? Yeah. That it was too scary for kids? It was kids? too scary for kids. But it changed your life. But it changed my life. I would not be writing. I would not be illustrating. I would not be in a storyteller if it weren't for that book. In your opinion, what makes a book great? Well, I think that what makes a book great is you want to know what happens next. If you're interested in the character, whether they're the villain, I mean, you know, you can read like the, the Ripley books, you know, and he's a, he's a serial killer, but you don't want him to get caught. You know, you're rooting for the bad guy, but he's the hero at the same time. You want to know what happens next. I mean, you want to know what happens to Gatsby. You want to know what happens to Max and where the wild things are. You want to know if the soup's still hot. I mean. You like the character and you want to know what happens to him.